all right guys so um, now I'm gonna commence installing uh, the uh, this dash cam on the car so what you basically need is uh, of course your SD card for memory and uh, it supports up to a maximum of 64 GB so this is the max you can get not any bigger not any larger if you get a 128 then that's it and uh, what you need is um, a glass cleaner to remove any residue you have so that uh, whatever when you stick the camera to the you know to the screen uh, it will remain uh, you know the adhesive will be maximum and you need a cloth like this you know you can get this as a you no know, something like cloth you know those like you wipe off and then the dust will stick uh, you can get this very cheaply at Daiso about five bucks you get about hundred pieces you need this and you need a plus a uh, newspaper to uh, finish off when you spray this so all right so let's commence installation all right guys so uh, I've clean this part where I'm going to stick the camera and uh, remember this transparent film uh, this is going to go here and then the uh, camera will go into onto this piece so what I'm going to do is going to tear off the protective layer here and I'm just going to stick it right here all right so uh, I'm not sure whether you guys can see this but uh, let me try to focus it okay so as you can see this is a, a static you know like those protectors it's actually static based uh, adhesive so there's no glue so you can actually remove this thing uh, without damaging your tin or whatever not so after sticking it so you just need to just clear it off and just press off the bubble up and you can see there's a dot here this is where the camera will go so just let me cleanse this before everything all right guys as you can see i've already set it up um see um it's pulsating here oh let me let's just get it focused right so once you plug it in uh it will be pul it's pulsating led here uh green will show uh, indicates recording blue will show that it has been set up properly and perhaps insulation everything uh <laughs> Basically, it's the hardest part of installation, I think, will be rewiring this entire thing all the way here to your power socket here. But it's going to be very simple. I'll show you in a minute how it's done. But uh, it's okay. I mean, you can, most importantly, is you need to get this attachment and this attachment stick properly because otherwise, if not, uh, it will fall down in, uh, you know, the heat and whatever not. But uh, so you can just get uh, a tip is just to make sure that uh, this thing is stuck properly first before you adjust the angle because what happens is uh, even if you get the angle wrong it's fine because uh, can you see this knob here uh, it will be let me get focus this knob here will allow you to adjust the angle here so you unlock it so you can you can move this thing up and down and once you get a proper angle you just lock it back in and it will stick in place so there's no worry about getting the angle wrong on your first try not an issue Okay, so the difficult, most difficult part is that uh, some people don't like, you know, the wiring here. It goes straight to the power socket here. Then you have the line here. So it makes the entire thing very messy. So the wire, the, sub, the power supply wire is actually long enough for you to reroute through the entire thing, concealing the wire and end up here. So what you're going to do is this. All car has it, um, you know, once you plug it in here, this, this is the you know, power socket. So when I plug it in here, you just move it all the way up here. And all cars, uh, I'm not sure whether you can see, you know, there's a gap here between the ceiling, the actual roof, and this inline set here. There's actually a small hole, uh, uh, there's actually a small hole here, uh, enough for you to push your wire in. So as you can see, the wires, I've rerouted the wire, I've inserted the wire all the way in here. So what happens is that, you know, I just basically look, um, uh, just push it in here 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 and then when it comes to the angle here can you see this gap here you just push it in and then you just shove the wire in so if you can see here this plastic is uh, hard but this is soft so you just basically need to push it in you know it's pushable so you just slide the wires in and then after that you know you just slide all the way here and then uh, yeah so you can see here I've stuck the wire here as well so you just line it all the way here and uh, you know just go along the way all the way and then once you reach it here as you can see the wire is still here uh let me focus it yeah so you go all the way top here so you reach the wire here and then you just go underneath and what you want to do is you want to remove the carpet and you hide the wires under the carpet all the way through and you come out here 
be rich here. So this is basically requiring it only takes about I think it only it took me less than a minute to get everything done without mess. And if you really dislike this thing, you can just probably put a black color tape, you know, just electrical tape, just tape it up so it's not so ugly. Um, and it's also a, you know, a way of getting it done.